Hey y'all, I'm back uh, with this 250 and I just wanted to go over, um, I know it's sometimes advertised with auto sideband. Um, I'm unsure if you buy the unit all assembled if it's any different, but if you buy a kit, you might uh, see a pad back here. Um, if you see there's two capacitors here and it's right by the relays and of course it's parallel with the positive uh, lead that's right here. <clears throat> but the um, there's two capacitors here and basically they tie into the relay to hold it open for sideband. Um, that's how the uh, sideband uh, works. Otherwise this thing, um, you know, it's carrier operated so as soon as you add uh, you know modulation it'll close this relay um, these are great for AM but yeah for sideband since there's no carrier um, you have to have something holding that uh, relay open just for a second say when you take a breath um, otherwise yeah these things will open and close uh, and if you see it on the kit you'll see back here and it's on the radio side it's basically right uh, right next to the ground um, for the uh, radio behind these two capacitors right here and there's a pad that says SSB if you follow that trace you need to uh, see that it goes to the circuit but without that these uh, capacitors are not engaged at least on the kit it doesn't mention any anything about that on the kit so if you use um, these rocket boxes and you have a kit and you use these primarily for sideband you're going to want to go ahead and short that out because it is not auto sideband um, you have to actually enable that and I'm just going to show you uh, just real basic um, with this I'm going to go ahead and just take this off we have a uh, test radio um, up here we're going to use it's just going into uh, going into here and then uh, out of here it's going into a dummy load none of these actually transmit on the air this is disclaimer uh, that these are you know, scientific uh, purposes only. Uh, use at your discretion. Um, must be able to be licensed um, to operate these um, on, on whatever you decide to. But uh, I operate these into a dummy load. And uh, these are just for fun. These are basically just little hobby kits. Um, so we'll go ahead and just show you because I added the uh, third light here um, and I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Gary uh, that uh, gave me that idea the pads are in the back uh, you'll see that you can change out um, the lights as well if you wanted to whatever decide but uh, yeah a little grommet and uh, whatever light of your choosing I choose the red light and uh, that's uh, what we'll use to be able to demonstrate every time this transmits or modulation light <clears throat> so it's not uh, oh, yeah it is set up good we're, uh, we're ready to go awesome alright so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did basically you just ground out that pad and I just have it you know round up here um, to the uh, jack adapter here and then this is the microphone for this uh, bench radio that we're gonna use to test this so let's get it in uh, focus here, everything, see so if we can get everything in focus at once. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is show you without, and I'm going to simulate it on this microphone. Um, turn on this radio. I always use, I always use, I love 3A. I love all the A channels. Those are awesome. I just, I just love those things. Um, actually gonna have to start using them soon with the sun cycle coming in we'll have a little bit of quietness and uh, maybe we can use the a channels for uh, FM I don't know what's your thoughts uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get over this uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, key up and you'll see and you should be able to hear the relay clicking on clicking off uh, let me see if we can bring this closer just because I can't sample the uh, audio um, it should we should be able to hear it and click it hear it clicking so basically I'm going to just tap this microphone see every time you take a breath it's unclicking now if you use this on AM you'll see that the uh, you just it stays just because carrier so that's pretty much the transmit light 
Now, when you use on sideband, of course, like we said, we uh, have a suppressed carrier, so you're not going to have um, a carrier to, keep, to hold this relay open. So when we modulate and take a breath without a without a sideband delay and without those uh, capacitors enabled, because they're not enabled. You see how much you're opening and closing that relay. It's going to burn out. It's just going to it's going to burn out, and it's actually two two relays, but that'll burn out. So this add a little capacitance on the relay, and we should be uh, seeing a little bit more of a delay. Of course, it's only a 22 uh, microfarad capacitor in there, um, and we'll just go ahead and uh, simulate. Uh, this with the uh, switch. So yeah, basically all we're doing is taking that pad and setting it to ground, which you can easily do by just grounding it right behind the uh, the radio uh, uh, pad that's behind there, which is ground as well. So uh, we'll show you what it sound, what it looks like now. And it's this finger. See how it um, holds open longer. So if you if you were talking fast, you don't have to talk like an auctioneer because it's actually holding it uh, open now, just a little bit longer. Hear it not clicking? That's just me tapping. That's the click of the relay, but it's holding open if I'm talking into it. Testing one, two, three, four. This thing is a hot radio anyway, but uh, yeah, if I was talking into it normally. And you see it, it kicks out on sideband a little bit. So that delay uh, never works out well. So we have to get this uh, set up properly. It's the only way you can use the sideband delay. Um, so just to give you a, a heads up on that, if you want to uh, save the life of your uh, unit here and not burn up these relays by having them open and closed the whole time. Uh, check that pad behind the uh, behind the, uh, those capacitors and you can also upgrade the capacitance so uh, we're going to go ahead and do all that fun stuff too so uh, just a just a hint to let you know um, you may not have auto sideband on these units and don't confuse with the uh, the other units just like this like uh, I was saying the other ones like the Palomar um, units uh, they're built totally different um, and it's the old Palomar not the new Palomar um, they actually had uh, decent amps. Uh, this is a rebranded company, so it's not the Palomar of yesteryears, it's just the name of the Palomar company. Um, so just to let you know, the EKL is, is uh, you know, like the Palomar chips and stuff. So just to give you a quick heads up on that, uh, you might need to change your capacitance. Um, have a good day. This is the uh, connection here, it's right behind the radio. Um, there is the uh, capacitor. I took the other one out already, but it's C21A and C21. Um, and there's the pad right there, the SSB. Uh, if I can get it in focus. But uh, yeah, short that out to ground and you'll have your uh, two, uh, two capacitors here uh, working towards that relay uh, delay for sideband. All right, so we got our little uh, jumper right here uh, going from the SSB and I'm just going on to the actual high side of the uh, ground of the antenna jack. Shorter path would just go straight across if you want to, but I just did it that way. Either way works. I'm going to go ahead and power it up and we, uh, we have the new capacitors in there. So let's see what it sounds like and uh, hook it up to the d dummy load. Okay, so we're back after the uh, capacitor uh, replacement, uh, capacitor 21 and uh, capacitor 21A. Um, originally, of course, that was the uh, 47 uh, microfarad at uh, 50 volts and uh, 21A was 22 uh, microfarads at 50 volts. Um, they were in parallel, so that gave us uh, 44 microfarads. So now we, I just went ahead and adjusted it completely. 
Um, so both of them are in parallel electrolytic um, 47 microfarad so of course in parallel that'll end up being uh, 94 uh, microfarad so we're gonna go ahead and just um, show you what what has happened uh, as far as the delay on this and of course you can go up on this it's all depending on your breath your style of transmitting and uh, everything else but uh, now this has um, sideband delay in it um, so we're going to key up do the same thing we did before with this microphone and you see once it charges that holds open for a better conversation testing one two just to let you know you're not hearing that uh, relay any longer I'm going to go ahead and just uh, sit back let you hear how the relay is not clicking and holding open with the uh, with the red light transmit uh, so yeah with this going um, that lets you know it's staying keyed open in the process and uh, yeah we can do uh, another test just to verify that but uh, yeah first key ups going to need to load those capacitors with voltage after that they will hold open so yeah, we're holding open the, uh, the voltage uh, on this now with those capacitors in line. I'm sorry, the uh, relay. So yeah, we're doing right now 94 uh, microfarads uh, in comparison to the original 44 uh, microfarads. So go ahead and sh uh, get that um, SSB pad shorted out to ground um, and definitely go ahead and update those uh, those. Uh, capacitors and 47 parallel on both of those is what I recommend at the very very minimum uh, of course you do that all at your own risk just wanted to put it out there that you might need to go ahead and do that at least on the kits that uh, aren't built the you know the the non-built kits if you order them um, go ahead and, and uh, check that uh, SSB pad and uh, again we'll go through the other ones um, so uh, yeah at least this is the rocket box uh, 250 as of now got to go ahead and still clean up the uh, um, labeling on this thing here but uh, as of now yeah we're holding open those relays because they're not uh, just burning out but uh, at the bare minimum uh, 247 uh, microfarad capacitors in parallel would be nice and even higher than that I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out some other things uh, to put in there value wise uh, but uh, yeah you don't have to talk like an auctioneer on sideband so uh, just to let you know if you bought a kit that may not be in your kit as well as far as the uh, what to do with that SSB so uh, now you know and uh, of course you could wire it up to uh, like this preamp switch if you don't use preamp at all and you can uh, manually have a uh, sideband delay which is basically those capacitors getting enabled to hold the relay open uh, for you to be able to talk since you don't have a sideband carrier but uh, alright just to give you that I'll see you in the next video thank you all so much um, 73's